Hey, Sean Connor here. Today we are going to configure a supply model. Video one, I'm just going to give you an overview of what we're going to accomplish. And then if you want to see how I do it, go ahead and continue on and check out the other ones. So essentially we have a DC that supplies a Canadian warehouse. That Canadian warehouse then delivers to all the happy people out there. What we want to set up is we'll keep the same configuration where the DC will take care of the Canadian warehouse, but we also want to set up a virtual Canadian warehouse as well. The virtual Canadian warehouse is actually going to be located inside our distribution center. The distribution center will use all of its efficiencies to pull and pack and ship and everything will be ready to go, but systematically they'll be processing it through the Canadian warehouse. The virtual Canadian warehouse, they're going to send parcels directly to our folks, including Mr. Walrus Guy, Spiky Haired Guy, and this is Doubtfire Gal. And in addition, the virtual warehouse is going to send essentially cross dock pallet LTL loads to our Canadian warehouse, which and then are delivered to our happy customers, Mr. Elvis restaurant with the smoke coming out and happy face person over there. We're going to do this by creating a supply model. Now our warehouse we're going to use is 041, the same warehouse I've been using in my warehouse setup. The end result is we want to separate all the planned distribution orders, that's DPS 170, by delivery method UPS and R truck. And actually instead of R truck I think we're going to use L2L. Then what we're going to do is assign a different DO type per delivery method. All of this using the supply model the end result is you're going to get a group of planned deliveries, DPS 170, for one particular distribution order type, and then you're going to get another group for another distribution order type. And then essentially, the distribution orders that are supplying the cross stock orders will be one group, and the distribution orders that are going direct to the customers will be a different group. So let's get going. 